In this video, I'll demonstrate how to use the Painterly Brush Tool, a graphic design game changer that's new to CorelDRAW 2024. Unlike brush tools in other applications that are either vector only or pixel based only, the Painterly Brush Tool combines the best of both worlds a pixel based brush tool that is controlled by vector curves. Built on world famous Corel Painter brush technology, this tool combines the realistic organic textures and natural brush effects of pixel based objects, meaning raster and bitmap images, with the easy editing, manipulation, scaling, and non destructive quality of vector objects. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page. Here you can also download a written copy of this tutorial. The Painterly Brush Tool is now the first tool in the Artistic Media Tool group and uses the J shortcut key. When activated, the property bar features a brush picker, which lists dozens of brush strokes in several categories. The wide array of curated brushes includes textures of oils and acrylics, the graceful flow of watercolors, intricate detailing of airbrushing, dry mediums of pencils, pastels, chalks, and markers, as well as digital effects and physics inspired particle brushes. Each category can be expanded and collapsed. Hovering over each brush displays a preview below the list. The property bar also has controls for brush size and transparency, and a button to clear a brush stroke, which returns the curve to a plain vector object. The Painterly Brush Tool can create curves from scratch, or it can be applied to existing paths, curves, and shapes created with a wide variety of drawing tools. In this example, I'll select the white ellipse with the Pick Tool and activate the Painterly Brush Tool. The brush I want is in the Oils category and is called Quirky. The effect is applied at the default size, color, and transparency. I'll reduce the brush size to 1.5 inches and transparency to about 50%. Brush color is set according to the curve's outline color. This means that on Windows, I need to right click a color in the palette. On a Mac, I would right click on the swatch and choose Set Outline Color. This jellyfish arm was already painted with a painterly brush stroke. To see which brush was applied, I'll select the curve with the Painterly Brush Tool still active. The curve was painted with the Silk Flower Brush with this size and transparency. To apply the same effect to this yellow curve, I'll select the curve, open the Brush Picker and find the Particles category, choose Silk Flower, and approximately match the size and transparency of the neighboring curve. For the color, I'll right-click the Ice Blue Swatch in the Document palette. To see what happens when a brush stroke is removed, I'll go back and select the previous curve with the Painterly Brush Tool and click Clear Brush Stroke. Clearing a brush stroke removes not only the brush effect, but also the outline properties of the object. Because the original curve had no fill, it is now invisible, though still findable in the Object Stalker. To make the curve visible again, while it is selected with the Pick Tool, I'll use the Property Bar to assign a new outline thickness and right click a swatch to set the outline color. Now let's say I want to draw a new arm from scratch. I'll press Delete to remove the red curve, then press J to go back to the Painterly Brush Tool. I'll set the same Silk Flower Brush Properties, click and drag to create the new curve, and set its outline color. To add some textures to the bubbles down here, I'll open Airbrushes and choose the Sprinkle Brush and drag a curve through the bubbles. The brush size here needs to be much larger, a bit more transparent, and ice blue. Like any Corel Draw vector object, Painterly brush strokes can be modified with the Shape tool. I'll activate the Shape tool and select the arm I drew manually. Now I can delete, move, and add nodes, and change curved slopes at each node. With each change, the pixel brush strokes update according to the new vector path. I can also node edit any curve to which a painterly brush effect has been applied, such as the other arm that was created from an existing curve. Finally, I'll demonstrate adding brush effects to text. 
With this artistic text selected using the Painterly Brush tool, I'll open the Digital Effects category and apply the Fairy Dust Brush, then reduce the size, transparency, and color. When I use the Text tool to change the text, size, and font, the brush stroke updates accordingly. Brush effects can be applied similarly to paragraph text, such as this very small and faint glow brush effect in light blue. The Painterly Brush Tool combines the unique expressive qualities of pixel painting with the precision of vector editing, opening a world of creative possibilities. This brings us to the end of this tutorial on the Painterly Brush Tool. If you've been watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial and find other helpful tutorials for CorelDRAW.